Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the Archwing launcher so you're able to use your Archwing on the open world missions in Warframe. It just makes all the bounties and everything that you want to do here go extremely fast. I suggest doing this as fast as possible in the game, even if you're MR2, MR3, I suggest getting this because it'll just speed up your gameplay so much. Alright, let's get right into it. So first of all, if you don't have your Archwing already, you'll have to complete the Archwing quest. And I'm pretty sure the game just throws you right into doing that, but if it has not, then you can come over to your codex and then click on the quest here and start that. So after you have your Archwing, we will have to get the Archwing Launcher, which is this thing that you'll be able to put onto your gear wheel, and then you'll be able to use your Archwing on all the open worlds in the game. And then before we can make the Archwing Launcher in our foundry, we'll have to apply this like hard drive thingy into our foundry. It's called the Archwing Launcher Segment. To get the blueprint for the Archwing Launcher segment, you'll have to get it from a clan dojo. So if you're not already in a clan, you'll have to come over to your chat box and type in something like this. Just say you're a new player looking for a clan. Make sure you put like what platform you're on because with crossplay, you can only join the clan of whatever platform you're on. And then make sure you say that you want the clan to have everything researched because if they don't have everything researched, they might not have the Archwing Launcher segment for you. And then you'll have to join a new clan and it's just be a big hassle. So then after you send this to the recruiting chat right here a few times, someone will message you saying like, hey, do you want to join our clan and whatever? And then they'll send you a message and sometimes they won't say anything to you at all. And just make sure you check your inbox in the communication tab and there will be an invite from whoever in here. And then after you join a clan, you'll have to make the clan key in your foundry. I don't think it lets me make one. Yeah, I can't make one because I'm already in my clan, but there'll be something called a clan key in here that you have to craft and it doesn't cost much to make. After you wait the 12 hours for your clan key to craft, then you can just come over here to the dojo and we're going to go to it. So once you make it to the dojo, go ahead, just fast travel to the Tenno lab. And in here, you can just go to the miscellaneous tab and right here is the Archwing launcher segment. You just click on this, replicate the blueprint, and then buy it for the 15,000 credits. To make the archery launcher segment, it takes 100,000 credits, 50 Gronk Troll, 50 Iridite, and 1,200 Oxium. So I'll show you how to get all those right now. So to get the 1,200 Oxium, you basically have two options. The first one is the premier way to get Oxium. Almost everyone does this to get Oxium. Uh, you might not be there at this point in the game, so I still have another option for you, but first, is to do this IO defense mission on Jupiter. If you have a farming frame like Korra or Necros, I suggest using them because you can only get Oxium from the Oxium Ospreys. They're the only ones that drop the Oxium. And this is just the mission where the most of them spawn and you'll be able to get the most in the least amount of time. If you don't have one of them, I suggest just doing like five waves at a time and leaving until you get a Korra or Necros on your team to increase your farm. So the second way to get Oxium is to do bounties on either Cetus or Fortuna. There is a tier two bounty that has Oxium as one of the stage rewards. So on both Cetus and Fortuna, the tier two bounty that you can play has Oxium as one of the rewards for completing the stages. And you just play this mission and there's three stages to it on both Cetus and Fortuna. And at the end of it, you'll be rewarded something, either this, 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 or this. And so you have a 20% chance of getting the Oxium. On Cetus, you have a 25% chance, but the reason I'm on Fortuna is because it's easier to tell which rotation of missions you're on. The Oxium's only in rotation A. So you can tell you're in rotation A by the synth mod set that's available in the different tiers so you can see synth deconstruct synth reflex in rotation b there's mecha mods and rotation c there's tech mods and then it'll go back to rotation a so you know like how long you have until you're back at rotation a to be able to get the oxium so each rotation's about two and a half hours. So you're able to time out when you'll be able to come over and do these missions. The last thing, the Oxium is also in rotation A on Cetus and it's 25% chance, like I said. So maybe just check which rotation is available on Fortuna and then go on Cetus and do it if you want a higher chance of getting the Oxium. You can only get the Oxium in the stage one and stage two of the mission. So you'll never be able to get it on stage three. So don't expect it. For the 100,000 credits on the Archwing Launcher segment, there are two different farms you can do early game that I would consider doing. This one, you just complete one excavator and then leave the mission and you'll be awarded about 16 to 18,000 credits along with whatever you earn in the mission. And then on Ceres, you can do Gabby, which is one of the more notable early game credit farms. And it's a survival mission, so you just do five minutes in the mission, 
leave, and then you'll be awarded 20,000 credits along with whatever credits are in the mission. So to get the Erudite and the Gronk Jewel, you'll want to equip some loot radar onto any Warframe, it does not matter. On Warframes there's a couple ways, you have this Aura Mod Loot Detector, and then also Thief's Wet is a very common mod. You probably have it already, but if not, I'll show you where to farm it really quick. You don't need this, but it does just make it easier to farm these two resources. So the quickest way to get this mod, if you do not have it already, is to go to Phobos, and then go to the Sergeant, and you can just kill him a few times, and it's a 40% drop chance, so you should get it pretty quickly. And then after you have the mod, you go to Cetus, because you get both of the resources here. And what you're going to want to do is come to Kanzu and start one of the bounties, and you're going to want to start the highest level bounty that you can. I think you unlock the tier 4 at like MR3 and the tier 5 at MR5. So most people I think when they're farming their Archwing will have this one unlocked at least. So you go ahead and start it and then go into the mission. And I literally only have the Thief's Wit mod uh, on right now. Once you get out into the plains right outside the door, there's usually a couple Iridite like around this water you can find. So you can see on the radar that it popped up when I got close to it. That's why this mod will help you find them easier because they're kind of hard to see, just little glowing red things. And when you're on the higher level missions, you get more iridite per like node that you find. And then sometimes there's one over here to the right also. Yep, here we go. And then what you're gonna wanna do is just go to the mission objective, start it, and then leave. So you fail the mission. So here I'm going into the range, and I'm just getting out of there. So you can see right now that I'm abandoning the objective. I'm just going to go back to the starting area, because I feel like it's way easier to find Erudite over there than the back of the map. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the left here, like towards this area, because to get the Gronk Troll, you'll have to go to Grenier Camps, and there's a couple along the here, and then there's like one over here. So you'll just find Iridite on the path over, and then farm some Gronk Troll at the Grenier Camps right here. So I'm just running through these camps really quick right now. You just don't try and kill any enemies, because you probably won't be able to, since they're like level 30 and 40. If you die, it's not a big deal. As long as you don't run out of lives, you'll still be able to finish the mission. Also, I'm getting 6 Gronk Troll per drum, because I have a resource booster on. If you don't have a resource, you only get 3. But that's alright, because once you farm all the stuff up around these areas, you just leave and restart the mission, do everything over again, and then start farming and leave again until you have all the resources you need. You need 50 of each Iridite and Gronk Troll for the launcher segment, and then you'll also need 50 for each for the Arcwing launcher itself. So you can just do all the farming at the same time, or you can break it up into both of them, it's up to you. So this was just one quick run of me explaining everything, and it took six and a half minutes, so I'm just gonna finish the mission now and collect all that. So now that you have all the materials to craft the Archwing Launcher Segment Blueprint, come over to the Foundry and go ahead and craft that. It'll take about 12 hours to craft, do not rush it, just wait and just come back the next day or at night and go ahead and pick that up. And once you picked it up, you'll just have to like come walk in a circle and then reinstall it into here. And after you reinstall it, then you'll be able to find the Archwing Launcher. Then this will be the last thing you have to craft, and it has infinite uses. You'll be able to use this on the open worlds and fly around everywhere. So you already know how to get the Iridite and Gronk Troll, so let me show you how to get the fish oil and the circuits, which you probably already have, honestly. So to get the fish oil for the Archwing Launcher, we're going to go to Cetus. And then once you're here, go ahead and fast travel to the Fisherman, and you can go to their wares and buy these three spears. Each spear allows you to one-shot a different kind of fish. If you picked Volt, then you'll be able to one-shot any fish with any spear because of his passive. And then go ahead and buy one of these die, or buy two of them, and then buy two of these bait. If you bought the spear, you'll have to go to your arsenal and equip it into the gear wheel. So once you have the spear equipped, you just head out into the plains, and I'll show you where to go from there. So I think the best place to just get a few fish to spawn, because every fish gives you fish oil, is just to go to this lake right here right off the spawn to the left. And you just jump over to this rock here. You get rid of my point. And you pull out your spear. And you can just throw in the bait you have or and the die. Yeah, usually these grenier will bother you, so you just go get rid of them real quick. 
Sometimes more will come down from the sky and you gotta kill them too. It's really annoying, but that's just open world fishing in this game. So I did one-shot that fish. If you don't one-shot the fish, then switch to a different spear and see if you one-shot it. So when you're fishing in, during the day, these are one of the fish you'll get, the cut-cut. They give you a lot of oil. They give you like three, four, or five based on how big they are. And then the other fish that's around here, the Yogwin, yeah, this guy, he doesn't give you as much. He gives you like one, two, or three, depending on their size. So then once you have all your fish and you're back in Cetus, you'll just fast travel to the fisher again, cut the fish up so you get their parts. And then I had some Yogwin. Just cut these guys. So yeah, they give me the cut cut, give you plenty of fish oil. So just go ahead and cut them all up, and then you got your fish oil you need. The last thing you need is 600 circuits. You probably already have them, because that's really not that many circuits. But if you don't, just do some missions on Venus or Ceres that you have not done before. Just complete some new nodes. So while you're in the mission, you can get circuits from killing enemies. Or there's just breaking open containers. And lastly, there's these that have a 100% chance of dropping these circuits for you, these locked boxes. And you can get them from that. So then after you have all those resources, you can just go to your foundry and then craft your archwing launcher. And after that's created, it'll take only 30 minutes, which is pretty nice. You just go to your ge gear wheel again in your arsenal and you can equip your archwing launcher. And I suggest putting a hotkey to it if you're on PC, something that's very reachable because you use it all the time. And then, if not, you just put it on the first slot in your gear wheel so you can use it as the first thing that's pulled up every time. So I hope this video made it easy to farm your Archwing. If it did, please leave a like. And then also the next big thing that you'll have to farm in this game is the Necromech, and I have a video on that, so go check that out. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And if this really helped you out and you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. See you later.